Yo, what's up everybody, it's Ellis, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Costa Rica. This place is paradise, right? Lush jungles, incredible waves, monkeys swinging from every tree, it's a dream destination. But, and this is a big but, there's a side to Costa Rica that they don't always show you on those glossy postcards. We're going to dive deep into some of the neighborhoods in Costa Rica where you might want to think twice before whipping out that selfie stick. Look, I'm all about exploring new places, but safety has to come first. We're talking about your well-being here, and that's not something to mess around with. So whether you're a seasoned traveler or planning your first big adventure, stick around because this information could be a game changer for your trip. We're going to break down some specific areas where tourists might encounter some sketchy situations. And trust me, you don't want to be caught slipping in these spots. We're talking real talk about staying safe, avoiding trouble, and making sure your Costa Rican adventure is one for the books, for all the right reasons. Let's do this. First up, we're heading to the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica, to a city called Lyman. Now Lyman has this raw, vibrant energy that's super alluring. It's got a rich Afro-Caribbean culture, delicious food, and a laid-back vibe that screams island time. But, and this is a big but, Lyman has a reputation. It's known for having a higher crime rate than other parts of Costa Rica. And I'm not just talking about petty theft here. We're talking serious stuff. The thing is, Lyman has struggled with gang violence and drug trafficking, which has, unfortunately, spilled over into the streets. Now, I'm not saying you're guaranteed to run into trouble the second you step off the bus in Lyman, but it's important to be aware of the realities on the ground. Just like you wouldn't walk around flashing a wad of cash in a sketchy part of your own city, you gotta be smart and stay aware in Lyman. Avoid walking alone at night, especially in deserted areas. And listen, I know you want those Instagram-worthy shots of the colorful buildings and the bustling markets, but be discreet with your valuables. Don't be that person who's flashing their expensive camera or phone around like it's nothing. Look, I'm all about experiencing the real deal when I travel, and Lyman has a lot to offer. But you gotta be savvy. Do your research, know the risks, and take precautions. Maybe consider spending your time in Puerto Viejo instead. It's a cool little surf town further south down the coast, and it's generally considered much safer than Limon. The bottom line is, don't let your guard down in Limon. Be smart, be aware, and don't let your desire for adventure outweigh your common sense. Next up, we're headed to the capital city, San Jose. Now, San Jose is a bustling metropolis, the heart of Costa Rica, and it's got a lot to offer. Museums, historical sites, a vibrant nightlife, but, and you know there's always a but, San Jose also has its share of dangers. Just like any big city, San Jose has areas where crime is a problem. Pickpocketing is common, especially in crowded areas like markets and bus terminals. And trust me, these guys are good. They're like ninjas. You won't even know your wallet's gone until it's too late. So here's the deal. Keep your belongings close, be aware of your surroundings, and don't be afraid to say no to street vendors who are getting a little too up in your grill. And speaking of getting too close, Watch out for scams. San Jose is notorious for scams targeting tourists, especially around popular attractions. Be wary of anyone who approaches you offering unsolicited help or deals that seem too good to be true. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Now, I'm not saying you should be paranoid and distrustful of everyone you meet in San Jose. Just be cautious, use your street smarts, and don't let your guard down. Another thing to keep in mind about San Jose is the traffic. It's insane. Seriously, I've seen calmer mosh pits. So if you're planning on driving, be prepared for anything. And whatever you do, don't leave any valuables visible in your car. San Jose is a city of contrasts. It's got beauty and chaos, culture and danger. Just be smart, be aware, and you'll be able to navigate it like a pro. Chapter 3. Punta Arenas Paradise. With a catch. All right, let's talk about Punta Arenas. This Pacific coastal province is home to some of Costa Rica's most stunning beaches, lush rainforests, and incredible surf. It's the kind of place where you can spend your days lounging on pristine sand, sipping on fresh coconut water, and just forgetting about all your worries. But, and I know you're probably tired of me saying this, but there's a catch. Punta Arenas has also been flagged by some official sources as an area with safety concerns. We're talking travel advisories and warnings from governments and tourism boards. Now, I know these warnings can sometimes seem a little over the top, but it's important to take them seriously. They're issued for a reason. These advisories often highlight petty crime as a concern in certain areas of Punta Arenas, 
especially during the tourist season. We're talking about things like theft, muggings, and scams targeting unsuspecting travelers. And listen, I know it's easy to get caught up in the excitement of being on vacation, but that's exactly when you need to be extra vigilant. Don't leave your belongings unattended on the beach. Be cautious about who you trust and be aware of your surroundings, especially at night. Another thing to keep in mind about Punta Arenas is that some areas are very remote and isolated. This can be amazing if you're looking for a true off-the-grid experience, but it also means that help might not be readily available if something goes wrong. So, if you're planning on venturing off the beaten path, make sure you're prepared. Let someone know your itinerary, pack extra supplies, and be extra cautious. Punta Arenas is a place of incredible beauty, but it's important to be aware of the potential risks and take steps to protect yourself. Chapter 4. Alajuela, Tread Carefully Now let's talk about Alajuela. This province is home to the country's main international airport, Juan Santa Maria International Airport, so chances are you'll be setting foot in Alajuela at some point during your trip. Now, Alajuela itself is a bustling city with a rich history and culture. It's got beautiful parks, colonial architecture, and it's a great base for exploring nearby attractions like the Poas Volcano and Doca Estate Coffee Plantation. But, and I'm sure you saw this coming, Alajuela City, in particular, has a reputation for being a bit rough around the edges. Like many urban areas in Costa Rica, it's got its share of petty crime, and it's important to be aware of your surroundings, especially at night. Now, I'm not saying you should avoid Alajuela altogether. It's a vibrant city with a lot to offer, and it's perfectly safe if you take the right precautions. First things first. When you arrive at the airport, be cautious of anyone approaching you offering unsolicited help with your bags or transportation. There are official taxis and ride-sharing services available, so it's best to stick with those. Once you're in the city, try to avoid walking alone at night, especially in deserted areas. Stick to well-lit and populated streets and be aware of your surroundings. If you're carrying a bag, wear it across your body and keep a firm grip on your belongings. And listen, I know it's tempting to want to explore every nook and cranny of a new city, but in Alajuela, it's best to stick to the main tourist areas, especially if you're not familiar with the city. Chapter 5. Heredia, the safer side of the story. Finally, let's end on a positive note, shall we? We're heading to Heredia, a province known for its lush landscapes, coffee plantations, and charming towns. Now, Heredia is often considered a safer alternative to some of the other areas we've talked about, and for good reason. It has a lower crime rate, a more laid-back vibe, and it's a great option for families and travelers looking for a more tranquil experience. But, and I know you're probably thinking, there's always a but with this guy, even in Heredia, it's important to stay aware of your surroundings and take basic safety precautions. Don't leave your belongings unattended, be cautious about who you trust, and avoid walking alone at night in deserted areas. Now let's talk about why Heredia is often seen as a safer bet. For starters, it's a bit off the beaten path. It's not as touristy as some of the coastal areas, which means there are fewer opportunities for petty crime. Secondly, Heredia has a strong sense of community. People look out for each other, and there's a general feeling of safety and security. If you're looking for a place to relax, immerse yourself in nature, and experience the authentic side of Costa Rica, Heredia is a great option. You can explore the coffee plantations, hike through the rainforests, or simply soak up the peaceful atmosphere of the charming towns. So there you have it. Heredia is a reminder that Costa Rica has a lot to offer, and with a little awareness and common sense, you can have an incredible and safe experience. So there you have it, guys. The truth is, every destination has its good areas and its bad areas, Costa Rica is no different. But knowledge is power, right? By being informed about the potential risks and taking some basic precautions, you can minimize those risks and maximize your enjoyment of this incredible country. Remember, Costa Rica is a beautiful and welcoming place, and the vast majority of locals are incredibly friendly and helpful. Don't let the actions of a few overshadow the warmth and hospitality of the many. Keep exploring, keep adventuring, but most importantly, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. We hope this information helps you have a safe and enjoyable trip to Costa Rica. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel tips and guides. See you in the next one. Peace.